Let's get down here. We've got very special news. Coming, Mum! Yes, Mum, what's the special news? Well, the news is special to me. You guys have to come home early. You're not going to Jamie's house for his party. What? Why? You promised. Before you realise, last week you promised you'd come home to finish 10 of your homeworks. Adam, David is the only one who goes to the party, not you. Mum, that's not fair. Can't you make an exception today? No, you promised, and you have to do it. I'll be home anyway. You don't even think about sneaking off to the party. I'm sorry, but this is technically your fault, not mine. I'll be picking you up at 7 p.m., okay? Okay. Mum, that's coming from you. You might want to go answer that. You don't think I know that? <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was being really helpful for once. <gasps> I'm not going to work because a visitor is coming in the house today. Uh, not this again. Has this been happening recently? A visitor keeps coming to the house. Is that why my room's always messy? Why well, your room is always messy? And yes, visitors have been coming to help for anger management because they don't want to go to class. So, I guess I'm going to be late. Okay, guys, you have to go to school. You have to go to school. Come on. I didn't get down here. The taxi's waiting for you. Bye, Mum. Bye, Mum. Bye. Have a good day at school. And remember, you have to come back in. No go to Jamie's party until you finish all ten of your homework. Okay. Not. <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Now get in the taxi. Uh, phew. I almost got caught. Time to have a long talk with Miss Jessie. When you wake up in the morning, I suppose you'd rather be. Each day is great for you and me. The problems we have to face, we do it together. And that's how we enjoy our life. So we're together. We work together, we do it for well. And nothing can bring us down because we are all together. We work together, we do it for well. And nothing can bring us down because we are all And then she said I couldn't get to the party. Can you believe that? That's so unfair. Actually, it's not. How? I can't go to Jamie's party. That is so unfair. Well, Adam, it's not. You promised your mum you would do all ten of your homework on the day Jamie was hosting this party. I feel like that's all on you, and now you can't go. Oh, I'm going. I'm going to have to convince Jamie if he can, you know, put the party earlier so I can go to the party early and so do all ten of my homework. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Except one problem. What about your mum? She already knows the pick up time and when the party starts. I think it's already too late to change it. Hmm, I guess so. But I still want to go to his ninth birthday party. I don't want to be the only one in the class who doesn't go because I have to do all ten of my homework. Really, Adam? Really what? You'll see if you're going to convince Jamie to try to change the toe closing time and the beginning time just so you can go to the party. Why don't you do all ten of your homeworks now? Fabian, you're right. I could do all the homeworks at the school library now. You're a genius. Thanks for the advice, Fabian. You're going to make things ten times worse. Hey, it's his fault. He was when he's listening to me. Happy nice birthday, Jamie. <sighs> Thank you, Marley. Hey, Marley, are you going to my birthday party? Yes, of course. I'm pretty sure everyone in the whole class is going to a birthday party. This is the actual opportunity out of the year. You know, after Adam and Fabian's birthday party was a huge success. Which means Adam is going to be DJ Chicken Ducky. Yes, he promised he'd do it on my ninth birthday party. And today's the day. I'm so excited. Um, Jamie, uh, about that. What? You're not going to be able to be making my birthday party? What? No, it's not that, it's not that, it's not that. See, DJ Chicken Ducky's outfit is getting wrapped up because I'm going to the birthday party. Yes! I'm going to tell everyone that TJ Chicken Ducky is coming to my birthday party! Yeah, you can tell everyone. 
There's nothing bad that's gonna happen at all to me when I get home. Miss Jessie, how do you know why are people coming to my house lately? Why can't I be in here for once? Well, some people prefer one to one classes. So we can't really do it in anger management because some people also like it quiet. So I guess your house was the only option. And um, yeah, you're now the head of one to one classes. So you want to take the promotion? Does it look like I want the promotion? No, I don't. Miss Jessie, I'm going to do my usual shift Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I do not sign up for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at home. I'm sorry, Jennifer. But maybe this can be your last one-to-one -one classes at your house and you can start working here like you usually do. Does that sound like a bad deal? Yes, it does. So, he's going to be my one-to-one -one class session today. I'm not sure. He should be coming out by now. I can't wait to meet her or him. Hello, my name is Matthew. And I'm going to be your one-to-one -one classes today. Yeah, so excited. Hey Matthew, so you will ask you ask the one-on-one -on -one class for 30 minutes? Okay, coming right up. Let's get in my car. Jennifer, you're my favorite person ever. You're better than Miss Jesse! Oh, thank you. That's really sweet of you, Matthew. So I just got one question. Why do you think you need one-on-one -on -one classes for me? I don't know. My wife signed me up. I clearly don't have anger issues. I play the perfect person ever! And I'm nice. I'm bubbly! I shout a lot, I do hate when I'm angry, I don't you ask a question! What the That was pretty intense, I guess. But still, what the what the Jennifer, can we stop at the cat, please? No Matthew, we're wasting too much time already. No more questions, and let's just go home on our day. Ah, 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 I want to go to the cat! <sighs> okay, fine. Just start shutting in my car. Hurry up. Let's get in. I'm out. Please, hurry up. You're wasting your session time. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, fine, fine. Please, I mean, I mean just, just take how long you like. One long hour later of stopping and getting stuff. Matthew, that is enough. Into worthless junk, and especially wasting my money. I was like, no, that's not fair. She should do me like that, not him. And I was like, you're so mean to me. I was like, you're never my wife. I was like, but you look so handsome though. And I was like, oh, thank you. And she said, sigh. Oh! Jennifer? I'm awake. I'm awake. That sounds really awesome, Matthew. It's not awesome! That's why I came for you for advice! But you're not listening to me! I'm sorry, Matthew, but you keep chatting a lot. It's kind of hard to hear what you're saying. But why don't you just say her? Just stand up for your rights, I guess. What is that? Why is it so loud? It's just an alarm. Let you know that your two hour session is over! Nuh uh, no crocodile tits on me. Let's take the country estate and we're going on the helicopter because we're not taking the car because we're not going to stop anymore. That sounds fair! Yay! Thank you, Jennifer, for that session! It was the best session I ever had! Stop shouting! The cloud of is going to. Wait, Matthew, because of you? We're stuck in the elevator. What? How can we be stuck in the elevator? Because you jumping, just like you did now, caused it to stop moving, and now we're stuck. <sighs> Jennifer, what are we going to do? Don't worry, we'll get some help. But I left my phone. What about yours? I forgot my password. I did change it two hours ago. But now I forgot because I got a good friend like you. But what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We can't do anything because no one's going to come up because we can't you know, get the fire brigade. Because we're stuck in the elevator. Because I left my phone and you forgot your own ding-dang password. 
Wait, now I must talk in the elevator with you. Can you please be quiet and stop getting the attention? Someone will let us out, I know it. Hey! Stop jumping! You're making everything ten times worse! Adam! We can get Adam! He's coming home! Maybe he might get out! Who's Adam? My son, I told you he had to come back here and not go to the party. So he's come back here and maybe he might let's get out. But what if he doesn't come back? What else are we gonna do? Right, maybe Adam won't come back. Maybe he's disobeying me. That means we're completely stuck in the elevator. We don't have no way out. <sighs> ah! Ah! But if he doesn't come, oh, so he's coming over at one o'clock. Maybe he might let us out. But what about Miss Jessie? Right, Miss Jessie, the next one to one session is coming on soon. I felt her. I might lose my job because we're stuck in a ding tang elevator! <laughs> I'm so excited for my birthday party. This will be the DJ. DJ Justin Chucky is getting popular by the minute. Everybody wants to see him. Yeah, well, I do have a thing for DJs. Anyway, so when is your mum gonna record it live? As soon as the party starts, of course. I can't wait. Thanks for being the best friend, Adam. Hey, Adam! I'm so excited you're playing DJ Chicken Ducky at Jamie's birthday party. It's gonna be so amazing. Um, are you okay? I thought you'd be more happy with this. I was just like, love coming out, but still. I promise that I should do it stay home and do all 10 of my homeworks. But I don't want to miss Jamie's birthday party. So I thought I'd just obey my mum, just to make everyone happy. Adam, you don't have to do that. You don't have to play at Jamie's birthday party. Just do your homework. I'm pretty sure it won't take a long time. I don't want to be. The, I don't want to let the whole class down. I signed up to play DJ Chicken Ducky, so I have to be DJ Chicken Ducky. I know what I'm gonna do. I'll be DJ Chicken Ducky to impress everyone. I'm sure my mum will understand. Happy birthday, boy. Happy birthday, Jamie. Jamie, everyone can't wait to go to your birthday party. It's going to be the best birthday party of the year, right after ours. This, guys, that's really the best. I'm so glad all of you can make it in the class. That, it's just appreciative. Thank you, everyone. And great, we have the best DJ, DJ Chicken Ducky. Yeah, go me. <laughs> uh, uh. Jamie, it really looks like you've got everything all planned out for you for your special day. I'm glad everyone's going to enjoy it. We're going to have a whole party tomorrow celebrating Jamie's special day. Related. Yes, it's show time. Everyone's the party. You can follow me because we're going to walk over there. It's not my house, but it's going to be the best birthday party ever. Thank you for Adam, you're really not going to disobey mum? You're really going to go sneak to the party? Are you sure? Because when mum is mad, she's really mad. And you trust me, we've all seen her dark side. But what if you want her to humiliate you in front of everyone? Just go home. It's not going to be that hard anyway. I have to do it. It's for Jamie. It's his birthday party. Mum has to understand. Well, I hope. Uh, this is the worst thing ever. I'm literally stuck in the left. I'm trapped with you, and there's no way out. I'm Jennifer. What's wrong with me? Everything. You speak so loud. You get angry easily, and there's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. But I'm just trying to be truthful. That sometimes you can be annoying, and you're the whole reason we got in this mess. Because if you weren't jumping like a stupid coward, maybe we'd be out of here today. Oh, Jennifer. I didn't know you felt that way about me. Maybe it's my wife's right. Maybe I was never meant to get me because I was gonna know people. I'm just so afraid. I'm afraid that I might forget something. Because. Because. Listen, we all have our ups and downs. But don't worry, I must be coming very shortly. Do not worry, don't panic. Okay, thanks, Jennifer! Ah, oh, that's strange. It's ten past three, and Adam usually takes the elevator to go his, to his room. Adam's got in the house! He likes me! He's going to Jamie's birthday party! Uh, he's so dead! 
And if I calm down, calm down. You can see he takes a taxi. Maybe that's a little bit of traffic. Hmm, well, I guess that could be the only logical explanation why he's not here. I just really hope he didn't lie to me. I thought I was going to let him get to the party anyways. Then why did you tell him to come here? Well, if he did one of his homework, then I would let him actually go enjoy himself at the party. Since it takes like two hours or so. But if he's not coming here, then I guess he's probably in the taxi still. Let's just hope so. Jennifer! Jennifer, is she in the house? She agreed to me up here. I hope she didn't get the car. <gasps> it's oh. Why is he ringing the doorbell? I told him it was going to be opened. Oh, he doesn't listen. Jennifer! Jennifer! Are you in there? Huh. Let me try to see if the door's opened. And it was. Ah, why did she mess up the house? Anyway, Jennifer! Jennifer! I'm here! Where are you? Oh, we're here. We're stuck in the lift. Could you press the button and that will get us down? Oh, I repeat, we're stuck in the lift. Can you get back there? That will take us down. Okay! Okay, here I go. I'm getting Jennifer out. Hope I'm not too late. Oh, yeah. Yes! Oh, that's it. I knew you could do it. I didn't buy him for a second. Maybe two seconds, but still. Ah, oh, Jennifer! Who was he? Matthew. I had one to one party with him. And we kind of got pretty close and got stuck in the elevator. Anyway, oh, let's add him home. No, and now it's 4.01. What? He said he'd come home and finish all ten of his homeworks. That is it. He deliberately went to the party and didn't even tell me. We are going to the party. And Adam is going to get something that you'll never see coming. Oh no, this can't be good. Trust me, Adam, I'm going to the party. And trust me, you are going to regret it. <laughs> oh no. Adam, this is the best birthday party ever. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. This is how the card to be hushed down. I'm gonna stop playing my song for you. I really hope you like it. Okay. Everyone, hush down, hush down. The DJ is about to play his hit single song. DJ Tech and Ducky, the floor is yours. Thank you, Jamie. This song is especially made just for you. Jimmy, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've loved, loved it so, so far. far. But you're gonna love it even more. Because it's your birthday, come on, to shine, yeah. You're all nine years old, you laughed at eight years old behind. You're starting a new beginning with all your friends. You can do this right now. It's your birthday and we're never gonna let you go. We will appreciate you. And we're never gonna let you fly. Come on, Jamie, we trust you. We are responsible for you. We, we believe you. That's how we can trust you. Jamie, it's your birthday. We're never gonna let you go down the line. Come on, Jamie, it's, it's a birthday. birthday. You know what, what to do, do for you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jamie. It's, it's your birthday, birthday too, too for you. Come on, Jamie, it's your birthday. It's your birthday tree for you. Jamie, it's your birthday. It's your birthday tree for you. Ah, ah, it's your birthday. Yeah, it's your birthday, come on. Oh, yeah, come on. Come 
me memories and more Ready to be unleashed Damn it's your birthday I mean never gonna let you go down We can please trust you We never gonna let you go down Adam, what does it actually wrong with you? How can I just sneak out and go to the party? Am I wearing that diggy chicken ducky out there? I thought I'd do it in the bin. You're so dead when we get home. Mum, I can explain, okay? It's Jerry's birthday, and I don't want to let him down, so I promised him last day that I'd be at his birthday party. And still, we all had a great time, and I was going to tell you, I swear. Okay, you were going to tell me, but still, you completely disobeyed me. I'm just going to let you go to the party and read that one piece of your homework, but still, you never came home. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mum. I should have told you the truth earlier. I should never disobey you. <laughs> I think you forgive me. <laughs> Maybe things could go that way. Oh, Adam, of course I can forgive you. That's why I'm grounding you for a whole two months. That was really despicable, and you still didn't listen to me. But I will let you let this off this time. But don't let's do it to me again. That's a deal. Now go have some fun. We can please trust you. We never gonna let you go down.